I have a very simple JSON file uh, I've prepared for you guys and I would say let's explain complex things in a simple way that would be more fun and that would be more easy to grasp so so this uh, is a JSON file with one object known as store inside this we have name address and then we have goods goods itself is a big object which has one object known as book which is an array itself containing two objects and then we have bicycle which contains three different fields so we have multiple options to read uh, data from a JSON file it could either be an absolute address for example store dot name or maybe store dot goods dot book dot type and then we read the data so if you open a TE file input JSON component so you will see that there are three different options JSON path X path or JSON path without loop and each of them has a, have a different use case so let's consider JSON path without loop we want to go and use the absolute address to pick the fields right away like a dot b dot c and we get c right away so we define the schema using edit schema and then we have the columns three columns and here we need to specify the JSON path query for example dollar dot store dot name and then we have it so we can run it and we can see the results sometimes the compiler is slow it takes quite a while but anyways we have the data now so we can see we have store name store address bicycle type and then we have these three details uh, yeah good let me see if I have the limit applied here okay anyways this is great so this is the name of the columns and this is the data so we we pick the data using an absolute address for example name address and then bike type simply so now let's go on to the next uh, next use case which is using loop array so so yeah this is basically the uh, this is this is the this is the first option once again JSON path and we we specify the JSON path and on top of that we specify the loop JSON query so if, if we have array objects inside the JSON path and we want to get all elements of the array object then we need to specify that object here this is the address of the object for example store.goods.book and then we have static it means array needs to be applied so we can see here store.goods.book and book is an array and then this data will be picked and then it will be mapped against this which is also known as the denormalization so we have here book title category and author uh, and the price good so these are the four columns which are coming from this array and the output of this script is going to be one row and second row parsed separately in the schema you guys can already see we have specified here now execute it and then we expect to see two rows perfect so this is the data that's coming from the loop or the array okay now the now the third use case will be uh, when we would like to read the data which is placed in the in the first place and all the array objects we want to basically we want to iterate over all array objects and the data we would like to uh, denormalize against the initial name and address maybe I run it and then it would be more clear with that 
so uh, yeah so we need to specify a loop xpath query and in this case we put the loop on on that particular object which is an array and so we specify that store goods and book book is an array and then we have inside this array we have title category author and price so these will be taken from the book and the iterations uh, will be performed on number of times the objects exist that in that particular object and then we want to get store name and store address but we backtrack two addresses or two times and we specify that address and name needs to be backtracked but if you consider this as reference then you can see the root of this JSON object is at this point in the very start and we need to backtrack two times from book so that we reach root and there we have the store name and store address and let's execute it and see how the data is parsed with, with these configuration settings perfect so this is this is the array which is being parsed into four different columns and then this data is deduplicated this is basically duplicated for those array objects if this array would have contained 100 objects then those unique hundred objects would have been coming here on the left and these this is the store name and store address which is the same for all of these objects so they simply get side by side and and this is how we ma map it okay and not all of the times we are parsing the data using the file input components so there are times when we want to extract JSON fields uh, in the middle of an integration job during program execution somewhere in between and for this one we have this component t extract json fields and uh, this component uh, cannot be the first component it always needs to be somewhere in between so that data is supplied to it and then it takes the data and then it parses it and then processes it accordingly so t file input json component json path without loop and then we read the data and you can see so this book goods dot book this is an object in itself so so now, now the use case is that we have a json file which is very big and which has uh, some of the data which can be accessed directly with a with a absolute address and we have some of the data which is uh, containing array uh, in which has multiple objects inside and we want to simply uh, parse those objects and then we want to reflect them against all of the uh, corresponding fields so for that case we we read the normal normal uh, absolute address columns using this JSON path without loop and you specify store.name store.address goods dot bicycle dot type and then you have it for this book this is an array itself and you can see when we when we see this t extract json fields component so here we specify that we want to take this book and we want to work we want to put the looping pointer in the at the root of this book and then we s we basically delimit these uh, not delimit but we want to parse these four columns and then we have the data separately so let me run it and then I explain what I mean from this use case perfect so in the first place we read the data which can be accessed using the absolute address store name store address bicycle type and then we have book but book cannot be parsed in the first place because it's an object itself which is an array and which have multiple objects inside it so the granularity 
is much more in case of book so this component we supplied to another component uh, so, so this object we supplied to another component which is this extract JSON fields component and then it takes this one and then it parses it well now we have these two books which are basically residing in this in this book object so once we have uh, the data which can be parsed directly and once we have the data which is parsed using a looping array pointer then we can later on combine it so make it simple parse the data which can be parsed using the absolute address in the first place and store it somewhere or just redirect it somewhere and then take all the data which needs to be parsed using an array and then redirect it in a second second flow and then later on you can simply join them and you can denormalize them and you can just map it against each other or we can then process it there are so many different components which can help us with merging and joining and simply mapping so this is how you can parse JSON files